the B1 atom stack laser enclosure. Good morning and welcome back to my workshop and in today's video I'm going to actually build my own atom stack B1 laser enclosure. It's very expensive so I've got the workshop, got the tools, got the material so why not do it myself. My plywood is pre-cut, I've got my cutting list so I'm going to work through my cutting list and I'm just going to speed this up otherwise it's just boring and I'll check in with you as soon as that's all all is done so before I start I'm just going to go through all my drawings and just check my measurements measure twice cut once this is the official enclosure That's made in stainless steel, but you know it's like almost 400 euros, so I'm sure I can save quite a bit of money doing it myself. So it took a bit of feeling out measurements, but it's got these basic measurements. There's my drawing. So I reckon I've got it figured out and I've got the measurement sorted and there's my cutting list. So let me get started. That's it. The basic box, all the wood is cut. The lid opens this way. I have to now cut two windows in for the perspex. Just check my measurements again overall. And what is the wood? Looks Excellent, looks good. Okay, yes, so <clears throat> do the windows and then do the gluing and assembling. Okay, it's no use just looking at the job, let's get going. There's some good progress. I'm ready to assemble so I cut the holes for the perspex I've got some red translucent perspex that will work very well and that's just to follow the laser cutters progress and to see what's happening in the box brilliant okay let me get my glue ready and start assembling. Okay, I'm going to do the box and then the lid. That should do it. Okay. Okay, it's all glued together worked out very well I'm happy <coughs> gotta wait for the glue to dry 
so I'm going to leave this until tomorrow. Once this is set, I'm going to start drilling holes for all the fittings like the, the burst picks. There's a cable hole at the back, a vent hole on the side, and then the controller opening Atom A20. The controller goes in there. Okay. So time to pack up and I will carry on, continue tomorrow. As you can see, I've done quite a bit. The box is assembled. I've done the pre-sanding. I've cut all the windows. And I started doing some sealing work. I'm using sanding sealer and late yesterday afternoon all the hardware arrived. So let me show you all the fittings and hardware I'm going to use. This is the red perspex. I was looking for green but I couldn't find green so red that will do. That's for the window for the laser cutter box. The black I'm going to use for inserts for the controller and the vent and then the grommet and this is for the extractor fan fitting, bolts and nuts, washers and grommets, stainless steel hinges and there's the handle. These are the uh, hydraulic gas spring door openers and their fittings. And then this is adjustable feet for the roller insert that goes inside. For engraving, I, I can do pens or anything round, glasses, even champagne and wine glasses because it has a balancing attachment as well. So that's the hardware. The next thing I'm going to do is just cut blocks. I need 110 mil so this is like 20 short so I'm going to just add four little wooden feet out the, at the bottom and then when I fit these I've got my 110 to 0 adjustment excellent okay so let me do that Blocks are fitted, the bottom insert is cut to size and I put sanding seal on it. Now the thing to do is, it's, I think it's dry besides that piece, is to do uh, orbital sand and then it's ready for spraying. So let me get going. sanding seal is done, the sanding is done, so all that's left to do is the actual spraying. I've covered most of my machines and I'm not going to film this process just because of the off spray, I don't want to damage the cameras. And get at least one coat on today and then do the rest tomorrow. Okay, so time to spray. And I'll check in with you once it's sprayed. Good morning and welcome back. The spray work is done. So now I have to assemble. It's looking good. I'm just glad I saved a lot of money. So, okay, I'm going to start assembling and I will check in with you guys a bit later.
I'm making progress slowly but surely so in in this phase all I still need to do is fit these gas spring or hydraulic gas springs I'm not sure if they're gonna work we'll give them a go and see the next phase I'm going to do all the inserts the one for the controller the vent and uh, the wire grommet the electrical wire grommet at the back okay so that's the next phase <laughs> Cutting my controller insert, which is going to go there, and then I'm going to cut one for the vent, and then at the four back for my wires. So, this is my first design and cut in light bird. Still need to work out power and speed settings for perspex 2 millimeter black acrylic now I'm cutting the grommet insert for the wires at the back and two more to go I'm going to do the vent on the side that goes there washer brackets that holds the roller door at the bottom and I'm now cutting the vent for working very well I'm fine tuning the settings there's the insert this is the the grommet insert that goes at the back for the wires works very well very happy good morning and welcome back this is my workstation I do all my vinyl cutting my cre cut cutting and my laser cutting from this workstation or more about that in another video now this is complete as you saw I did all the inserts I've installed them this is the control panels insert is done the air vent is done the four little brackets to hold my trap door for the rotation roller is inserted this is my trap door and in the grommet holder at the back is also installed I'm going to bring you a bit closer and let you have a look at all the inserts I've done that is the air vent let me show you from the inside the grommet insert at the back my rotation roller brackets to hold the little trap door and then my control panel insert on this side the outlet for the extractor fan which gets connected on an extractor fan motor that is an insert that goes into the window and there is maybe 0.1% of fumes that means the job is complete I'm very happy put a little plaque up here 
But when I made it, I saved a lot of money. From almost 400 euro, which is a lot of money, I brought it down to just under 50 euro. A saving of 350 euro. And it works just as well. It's got all the features it needs. Actually, what I did do, I made it a little bit deeper. Just for convenience, it gives me a bit more space inside to maneuver around. So I'm very happy with that. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If there's any comments or any questions, let me have them in the comment section below. And then lastly, most important, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this. And until the next time, enjoy your la laser cutting. Laka laka! <laughs>